This time, I will be discussing to you on how to add dissimilar fractions using LCD or least common denominator. So, the first step is to write the given. We have 1 over 3 or 1 third plus 1 over 4 or 1 fourth. So, the first one is to find the LCM or the least common denominator of the given fractions. So, this time, tuturo ko na lang sa inyo kung paano kunin yung LCM using the listing method. So, our denominators are 3 and 4. Let's write 3 and 4. In order to find the LCM, mag-skip counting lang tayo by 3. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21. How about skip counting by 4? 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, and 24. So, kailangan lang natin hanapin kung ano yung first number na nagkapareho sila using the skip counting. And this time, we have 12. So, pareho silang nagtagpo sa 12. Therefore, the least common multiple of 3 and 4 is 12. Since alam na natin yung LCM ng ating given fractions, which are 1 third plus 1 fourth, let's have 12 as their common denominator. Let's change the given fraction to its equivalent similar fractions by dividing the LCD to the denominator, then multiply the quotient to the numerator. Let's have 12 divided by 3 is equals to 4 times the numerator 1, we have 4. 1 third will now become 1 over 4. Let's have 12 divided by 4, which is equals to 3, times the numerator 1 will be 3. So 1 fourth will now 3 over 12. Now, let's add these new fractions as adding similar fractions since we now have same denominator. So, 4 plus 3 is equals to 7. Let's now copy the common denominator which is 12. Our answer is 7 over 12. This is already in simplified form. Let's now have the subtraction of the similar fraction. Our given is 7 over 9 minus 1 over 6. Our first step is to find the least common denominator of the given fraction. Let's have 9 and 6 as our denominator. Let's find its LCD using the listing method. 9, 18, 27, 36. How about 6? Let's skip counting by 6. 6, 12, 18, and 24. In order to find the LCM, hanapin lang natin kung ano yung parehong number nila. We have 18. So, 18 is our LCM. Since alam na natin ang LCM ng ating given fractions na 7 over 9 and 1 over 6, which is 18, let's use 18 as the common denominator. Now, let's change the given fraction to its equivalent similar fractions by dividing the LCD to the denominator, then multiply the quotient to the numerator. Let's have 18 divided by 9 is equals to 2 times 7 is equals to 14. Now, let's have 18 divided by 6 is equals to 3 times 1 is equals to 3. Now, 7 over 9 will now become 14 over 18 and 1 over 6 is 3 over 18. Now, let's move on to subtracting the new fraction as subtracting similar fractions. Let's have 14 minus 3 is equals to 11 and then copy the common denominator, 18. Our answer 
is 11 over 18. After adding and subtracting the similar fractions, let's now move on to adding mixed numbers without regrouping. Our given is 5 and 3 over 5 plus 2 and 1 fourth. Our first step is to change the fraction parts into similar fraction by finding their LCD. So our fraction part is 3 over 5 and 1 over 4. Let's change these fractions into similar fractions by finding their LCD. Let's use the listing method. So we have the denominator 5 and 4. Let's get counting by 5. 5 10, 15, 20, 25. Let's move on to 4. 4, 8, 12, 16, and 20. So, let's find out the LCM. So, saan number sila? Unang nagtagpo. So, we have the number 20. So, the LCM of 5 and 4 is 20. Since alam na natin ang LCM ng 5 and 4, which is 20, let's use 20 as their common denominator. 20 divided by 5 is equals to 4 times 3, which is 12. And then, let's just copy the whole number 5. 20 Divided by 4 is equals to 5 times 1, which is 5. And then, let's copy the whole number 2. Let's add the equivalent fraction. Let's add first the fraction. 12 plus 5 is equals to 17. Then, copy the common denominator, 20. Then, add the whole numbers, 5 plus 2 is equals to 7. Our answer is 7 and 17 over 20, which is in simplified form. Let's now continue subtracting mixed numbers using our given a while ago, which is 5 and 3 over 5. Let's subtract 2 and 1 fourth. We already know that the LCM of 5 and 4, which is 20. Let's use 20 as the common denominator. 20 divided by 5 is equals to 4 times 3, which is 12. And then copy the whole number 5. 20 divided by 4 is 5 times 1, which is 5. Copy the whole number, 2. Let's move on to subtraction. Let's subtract first the fraction. 12 minus 5 is equals to 7. Then copy the common denominator, 20. Now, let's subtract the whole numbers. 5 minus 2 is equals to 3. Our answer in subtraction is 3 and 7 over 20.